This place has a, about a century-long tradition during the summer of us bringing our children here. You know, John Boehner actually made, um, put it into policy that children 12 and under, we could bring on the floor with us. We tried very hard in previous years to make this an institution that um, loved and, and, and embraced our families and our children. Because, be honest, th this is a tough job on the family. And so two days ago, a handful of us showed up here, my five-year-old daughter, and we wanted to bring our children on the floor. And instantly, representatives of the speaker, and I know they're doing their jobs, they, I mean, they were brutal about it, but they were doing their jobs. You can't bring your children on the floor. Why? Why? Well, it's against the rules. Okay, I'll respect the rules. Show it to me in writing. And they ran off and came back 15 minutes later. Well, we can't find it in writing, but we don't want you to have children. Well, why? Well, COVID. Okay, if I remember the whole science thing, a five-year-old little girl is not a Texas state Democrat. They're not super spreaders. Why would you engage in such sort of dystopian cruelty to children? The, the math is the math. Remember, you remember all the speeches that my brothers and sisters on the left gave us that we need to follow the science, particularly in regards to COVID? Okay. I've been incredibly respectful for, for it. I, I'm, I'm someone who's never complained on this floor about wearing the mask when we wear the mask, going through the metal detectors, because I figured the public is forced to do those sorts of things. But come on, if you're going to preach at us, we're going to follow the science. You know the science on children isn't our problem? Why would you engage in such sort of cruelty to kids that, you know, one time during the summer, we could bring our kids here to sit here and, you know, my little girl who, uh, I mean, as you know, loves you because you've been incredibly kind to her over the years, Mr. Green, mar they get marched off with a group of the, s the floor staff from the speaker scaring my little girl half to death. You got to get off of here. This is sort of the weirdness that this place has become under this leadership. And the cruelty, the dystopian, and I love using that word, is the ultimate explanation we got is, well, it's not in writing, but we can do anything we want. When that type of cruelty is off the impulse of this leadership, you understand why this place is falling apart with hate. And the inability to show kindness to children, which aren't a problem, gives you a, almost a poster of what's become wrong with this leadership. And, and I don't know if it's vanity. I don't know if they become control freaks. I don't know if it's anything that these were Republican children, so therefore they must be punished. But it was a really crappy thing to do to my five-year-old and the other little girls that were with that group that just wanted to sit with their daddies and their mom on the floor. That's what this place has become. Dear heaven, I hope when we hit this August recess, there's some sort of soul-searching evaluation of what we've turned this place into. Because a year from now, year and a half from now, Republicans are going to take back the majority here. And I hope this hasn't become so embedded in our psyches that it's going to become the tit-for-tat seesaw where the types of cruelty that's been hoisted on our families, our kids, our